away from down under. Oh no, we're not yeah. doing it already. <laughs> and we still haven't learned the accent. Hello and welcome to come you. On. Come on, come what on. I th- stop it. Where my stop it. Is it. Oh my god, this That's is hell. Um, slang for a cigarette. I got told. Is it? Is Someone it? Someone told me that. Yeah, well, that doesn't make it true. Hello and welcome to episode 131 of Trusty Hogs. We are in the studio in the upside down land. So upside down is the land that Helen and I are here and we have a producer called Nathan who's a straight man instead of our gay English Andrew. I love it. Finally, a straight podcast. Everything's in reverse. This is not a straight podcast and you goddamn know I'm it. I'm straight, Nathan, just so you know. He does not. The He's man does not care. He's doing a big double thumbs It's up. called fear. What you're seeing is fear. Through the fog, step for the trusty hogs. Yeah, you're gonna give them your problems and they will solve them. Or maybe they won't, and that's your problem. They'll have guests and Andrew White on the tech. Oh, it's Helen and Catherine as the trusty hogs. Trust the trusty hogs or maybe not. Hello, um, this is a podcast where we tell you about obviously our perfect lives and then we answer your listener problems because gosh, you've got a lot going on. Helen, how was the flight? I got so lucky. Talk to me. I got so lucky. So obviously the last couple of episodes we've been talking like, oh, we've got this long haul flight coming up. Like, how are we going to survive? Catherine went premium economy. I stuck with economy. I spent the extra money I did. I got blessed. You got a free row. First leg, terrible. First leg was London to Dubai. Dubai. And I knew it would be terrible because who flies to Dubai? Yeah, you're right. And what is it? Six hours? Seven. Seven. Seven with the girlies. And I I made a plan that I was going to sleep on the first leg and be awake the second leg because I was landing at night time. Understood, yeah. But the leg that I was going to sleep on left at nine or one p.m. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So not natural sleeping time. So I carb loaded at Gatwick Airport North Terminal. Oh, you told me you were going to walk loads and that's what I was going to no, do. No, Dubai was walking. Right, okay, 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 got you. Carb loading. What'd you have? Um, Two prep meals. What are we talking? Did you have <laughs> one of those cheese? cheese? Oh, yeah. yum. <laughs> and um, a hoisin duck wrap. Good for you, girl. Thank you. Good for you, girl. <laughs> but then the I got on the first flight and the, you know when you see the person who's sitting in front of you and you just like, you're going to be trouble. Oh, really? Who was it? Just this guy. Drunk? Not drunk, just like he really, he took space. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yep. Oh my God, yeah. Like he wasn't a big guy, but he just like, he owned an area. Uh-huh. And it felt like the air hostess was his air hostess. Oh, yikes. And if we needed anything or asked for anything, like it was his No, toilet. the yikes is because it's steward now. No! <laughs> oh, why do I know what? I don't know these things. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. Well, why does she have a sparkly headband that said hostess with the mostess? <laughs> <laughs> That's mental. But she... We got in and as soon as it took off, he put his seat immediately <laughs> dick, fully back dick, I'm and sorry. it was a full fly. I come down very clearly on this side of the argument. If it's not sleeping time, like how dare you? So I didn't put my seat back because I was like, it's not sleeping time because it's 1pm no. and all these people are doing like a different day to me Give and them I'm aware a minute. that I've got a different Give journey. Them. But also my feeling is like, honestly, if it's in the first half an hour, you're choosing violence. Like just set yourself up. Also, read a look book. behind you. You've got a morbidly obese six foot one woman. Yeah. Don't put it back. That yeah. takes out the table as an option. Yeah. That takes out any movement of the legs. Yeah. Like it's if it's just... a child, go sure. for Sure, go it. for it. Oh my God, cool. They don't need anything. Yeah, they're fine. But they're then fine. I got instantly calmed because I didn't say anything and I was really good. And the air um, steward. Well done you. Wow, Not feminism. the one with the hair band. Oh, um, a man. <laughs> when the food came around, asked him to put his seat up for a minute so I could well eat. Because the day where you well can't, like her. when you're fully like mm-hmm. cramped in. But then second leg, um, whole road to myself. The flight was so empty. Terrible for the environment. Amazing for baby Helen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's heaven. And that was the longer one, presumably 13 hours. Yeah, but I accidentally slept on it. Oh, it happens. Listen, you got to take what you got. So I did... Yours was wild. 16 hours to Perth. So crazy. And then three and a half hours to Melbourne from there. I'll tell you what, it was ideal actually, because, well, first of all, there's no point in pretending that it's not much better. Premium economy just is much better. I've never done it before. But what was like, is it just extra leg room? So it's only two seats beside each other. They are probably like one and a half the width. 
stop. And then you've got le- loads of leg room and a little thing that pops out as a stool. So like a step you can put your feet on. Yeah. And they go back and you're given in, like constant stream of um, offerings of booze and wine and water and um, coffee and like did food and Did you drink on the plane? I didn't. But I think that makes jet lag worse, mm-hmm. isn't it? I didn't. But you, like, well, like I had a peppermint tea. I had a hot chocolate. I had lots of, I had a jasmine tea. You know, there was just sort of constant You went for an afternoon tea. <laughs> oh, I had a full afternoon tea. But what was interesting was... Um, I felt because it was a sectioned off area with maybe like 30 seats in it with my OCD I felt much less neurotic I could only hear 29 people's coughing breathing (laughs) and um, coping and that made me feel better which is awful no, it's it awful. It's great that you know that about yourself, so you know to book and into and fewer people were using the loo. I don't know. I just did feel better about it, nice. but also. Ellen did the research and I stayed up the whole night before. Yes. So that I could do exactly that sleep for the first You're eight. welcome. I know you said, but you didn't have to have three days before. It's not like You've Mexico. You've got to be proper tired. But I was exhausted. So I coming off, was coming off a Soho run and then I stayed up, basically only slept two hours the night before. By the time I got to the airport, <laughs> I was desperate for a sleep. By the time I got on the plane, I conked out immediately. Great. Slept for about like an on like a patchy yeah, eight yeah, hours, yeah. but then really did manage to stay awake. And then when we got here, was able to sleep. And I watched some gorgeous films. Talk to me. What? Wait, what airline were you with? Um, Qantas. Like Emirates, one. but we're in the same alliance. Oh, are we? Yeah. I don't know that they're in an, what you'd call an alliance. No, they're Do called you... air. I learn about this in economics one AS world. level. There's there's air alliances, right? I'm looking at Nathan. No, thank you. Straight man. I will know. They know no, that air alliances. Don't gang up on me, no, no, straight no. people. Americans know air alliances. This is like one of their few like masterminds. So not few. You guys are fucking killing yeah, it. Yeah, what a good education. <laughs> <laughs> no, they are killing it. And by killing it, we mean um, there's a gun problem. Slay! Slay! No, that's scary. Cool. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I'll say this. I think <laughs> the film selection I had was so whimsical. I went silly mm-hmm. and then I went to right I watched just Disney no and then I pivoted no. to Oppenheimer you didn't that's Within a crazy like pivot two minutes oh my god had you not seen Oppenheimer no and what did you watch pre-Oppenheimer which Disney like three because I was like napping but like Talk you know when, which like ones? outside sound yeah which ones okay I start <laughs> finding Dory oh my god come on because Dory is so cute as a baby yeah it's fish. true it's true and then Oh god! Is that the sequel? I was sort of sleeping. Is I've... Dory a sequel or a prequel? A sequel okay. to Finding Nemo. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't imagine it was a sequel to, like, Fox and the Hound. Yeah, <laughs> underwater, and it opens with the Fox and the Hound just drowned up on the beach. Jesus, Helen! <laughs> <laughs> what a Disney couple! So you're not any less oh, dark in Australia. I watched Good Onward. What is that? It's a really sweet one that no one really likes or like didn't really get like a big release. But it's about two boys whose dad has died, but he leaves them a spell that he can come back for 24 hours. And one of them never got to meet his dad. Um, but the spell goes wrong. So they only get his bottom half, like just his legs. Huh. And they're trying to like complete it so he can meet him. It's oh, I'm getting goosebumps. Wow, okay. I watched The Holdovers, the Paul Giamatti film. What's that? Oh my gosh. So he's a teacher in a, a like posh boys private school and they... In the UK? No, in the States. And so they and the cook and two, a couple of the boys get left there at Christmas and it's about, and then then some of the boys get to go home again. Then it's just basically two teachers, on the, like the teacher, the um, woman who runs the canteen and this boy left. No way. That doesn't feel good. It's actually one gorgeous. One boy it's actually gorgeous. with one male it's teacher. It's actually gorgeous. Okay. And the cook's there most of the time. Everything's okay. It's not that story. It's can not you that see story. how it sounds like ah, that story? My alarm. It's not that story. It's not that story. I can see how it seems like that, but it's not. It's actually a beautiful story about like, um, kind of like not having a father. It's a really lovely like dead poet society. Song. Yes, but less depressing than that. But a lighter okay. touch than that. But yeah, it's good. A strong recommend. And also, he's not like the the teacher's not a good teacher. He's not like oh captain my captain. He's like ugh what a jerk what a jerk. You know that guy. Really? Yeah. And um, it's great. Really enjoyed yeah, that's that. A good film. You watched really a good film. enjoyed that. And then I watched uh, Dumb Money. Paul we have Dano? such different film shows. Yeah, it was about short stopping the GameStop uh, stock, and I really enjoyed it. Say it again. Short stopping. Is that the what it's called? Short stopping. Maybe I'm thinking of baseball. It's um, <laughs> it's shorting the stock, basically. What's so, shorting stock? It basically means like a whole bunch of um, uh, 
big wigs in Wall Street are like who don't actually wear wigs gamble against the success of a company. Huh? They say they're like they basically assume it's going to fail, and they so they short the stock. <coughs> You choked. You're choking. You're so oh cho- God. She's, she's so horrified by capitalism and the oh behavior of one. I get the reference. Is it like greed with Steve Coogan? I don't like know. Like the guy I- that runs Top Shop, like they buy high street shops that they know will fail, but then they can claim yeah, the bank. Yeah, kind of similar to that. Back. But then what's co- what what usually what Wall Street people refer to as dumb money is when people who aren't experts in in this on the stock exchange buy into a company. They call that dumb money. They always lose. Um, which is incredibly offensive. Anyway, this guy, it was based on a true story. This guy um, believed that they were undervaluing and devaluing the stock Ooh. and then got loads of people, loads of dumb money to buy in. Yeah, they did not cover this in Finding Dory. They fucked with <laughs> Wall Street big time and it was really? so exciting. Yeah, so it's, it has Seth Rogen. He plays a baddie. I like Seth Rogen. Yeah, has Paul Dano. Is that his, I don't know how to say his name. Has Dano? I don't know. It has Shailene Woodley. I love yeah, her. She plays Woodley. that dying girl in um, Fault with the Stars. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Yes, indeed. And she's in Big Little Lies. Wow, is this it. good podcasting? It's always good podcasting. But here's the question. How the hell is Australia treating you? But I have to tell you about Oppenheimer quickly. I've seen it. Okay. Do you know everything about it though? Yeah, don't want your hot take. Awful. Yeah, really bad stuff. Awful. Really Do bad stuff. Do not create a weapon of mass destruction. I think that's a fair... And this is to everyone listening. <laughs> If you get an offer to go and make in any way a bomb, (laughs) even if it feels like an exciting scientific thing, you will regret it. You will regret it. Yeah, you won't be able to live with yourself. Craft. Do some goddamn craft. Do 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 some mindful colouring. There's other things you can make that don't, because that killed so many people, Catherine. Yes, Helen. We know. Crazy. Yeah, devastating. Mm, I know. No, I'm saying that. I'm I'm like like really really actively bad. (laughs) No, I found it devastating. Yeah, I'm having a good time in Australia. (laughs) Yeah. Okay, good. I'm so glad. Hey, what's your favorite thing you've eaten? Oh my God. I know. It's so hard. The food and coffee here is unreal. I mean, it was so good to be reunited with the Golden Gay Time. You love those, huh? I love it. I brought one for you and Ellen to your hotel room. Ellen loved it. Because it's so insane. It tastes like tea and biscuits and an ice cream. Yeah. I thought it was nice. Oh, it's crazy. You're crazy. I thought it was nice. I'm trying to think what the best food I had. That dumpling place. I know we went there separately. I went there with pets. And then you went there with pets the next day. The place with the trolley. The lake place. Westlake. Yeah. Is it not good for veggie? I was thinking that when I was there. Because Chloe was like, we have to bring Bohart. And I was like... I don't what know if Bo Hart will eat anything. Yeah. It was fine. It was all right. I, I would say the places that I've had best food so far are brunch. Um, industry Beans. Fuck me. It's like a spa for coffee and breakfast. It's like all white. It's the cleanest place I've ever been. I absolutely loved Stop. it. The food was divine. And we went to a place called Blonde. Of course, not that because we went to that public pool, remember? And it's just yeah. around the corner from there. Delicious. But I came to the pool later because you got there at like... Well, I got there at, at like 10 a.m. To, to save towels seat. for all the comedians. <laughs> And it turned out there were 480 seats and about 12 people at the pool. And I was like, guys, I got a seat. And everyone was like, there's like a hot, there's like 500 seats we could have. Uh, but I, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Ellen got sunburned because she wouldn't wear enough sun cream. So, yeah, those poor little leggies. I know. Oh, I know. But dear. annoyingly, it's turned immediately to tan. So she's learned nothing. Yeah. Nothing. British people are the worst. I, don't, I no mean, offense. every food I've had is good. I know, the food here is unreal. I had this like chicken and prawn pie. Sweet God. But it was like from like a Vietnamese place. Yum. But the chicken and prawn was like the consistency of what would go inside of a dumpling. Oh, yum. But inside of a flaky pie. And then I had yes. what Fern described as a Chinese burger. A dump pie. A dump pie. A dump pie. I had a dump pie. It was so good. Yum. Fern described as a what? Like a Chinese burger. It was like a... like spiced meat with like vegetables and spices all sort of like squashed down into like a patty shape yeah with like flaky puff pastry either side of it fuck that at this great. noodle place that was really really that good that sounds unreal Fern also gave me some sort of like um Korean uh it was like a it was like a lamington but it was like a cross bun flavor fuck it was in Incredible. Have you had a lamington in Australia before? No, are they good? It's mental. How are they so good? Why are they so nice? Why have I never had it's, one before? I'm guaranteeing you it's MSG. 
Is it? I reckon there's something going into it. It's so delicious. It does taste like crap. Because they're all like so obsessed with their Tim Tams. And I'm not saying I don't like Tim Tams, but they're just okay. Yeah, I think they're fine. The chocolate here is quite bad, except if Uh, you're lucky enough. Don't say that to an Australian. They are, sorry. The the chocolate here is bad. They make it so weirdly so that it doesn't melt. But you know what? Chocolate's great. Whitakers. Whitakers. And you know what? The hogs keep bringing us Whitakers. (laughs) Oh my God. Favorite flavor you've had so far? Peanut butter. I think mine's actually the caramel. I can't. What was her name? What was her name? Maybe it's the peanut butter. This this lovely woman and her mummy. I know they're all so good, but I can't believe how many hogs have travelled from New Zealand to here to see us perform. I actually can't. And the fact that hogs keep showing—they're up lying. Home, there's no way they have flown over just to see us. But there's I don't care no if way. they're lying. That they know exactly where to get me. Flattery, 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 baby. <laughs> Okay, we literally have to stop talking about food because I'm about to get so hungry. So tell me what your, like, tell me your favourite activity because we've done so much. Let's talk about all the others in the extra. What's your number one? I really hope it's my one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because we, we we will talk about these the two things in the extra, one of which is the pool day and the other of which is the... Um, boats. The boats. Um, both of which led to very sexual experiences for me, but we'll talk about that in the <laughs> podcast extras. Um, you got wet before you even got in the pool, honey. Well, what? <laughs> and we both know I barely got in the pool. I don't want to exercise. All of the um, lesbian <laughs> comedians in Melbourne no, but just soaking from the waist down. Yeah, Am I right? The water level rose that day, but we'll talk about it in... <laughs> The extras for now. You know, that's my favourite new joke of yours. Thank you so much. And it's not even a new joke of mine. It's just a thing I said to you once and you lost your goddamn mind. <laughs> when you said it the first when we were on the rooftop <laughs> and I was in the water with Chloe Pets and I was bobbing around like a baby with my t- We'll talk about it in the extras. We'll talk about it in the extras. It was good stuff. Your boobs have been a big feature of this holiday for now, if I may. <laughs> I think you're right. My, genuinely, my favourite activity was a surprise, a revelation. I didn't expect to have a good time. Helen organised for us as a gang to go bird watching because she knows what the lesbians like. And I'm learning. It was you, me, Ellen, Chloe Pets, yeah. and we had forms and that you made, which yeah. is unbelievable. <laughs> and Helen printed off. Tell the listeners how you found these forms. Oh. I mean, it's very simple. Okay, I was like, I want to organise them a day out because Catherine, like before we came, was like, we need to like plan all our days in advance. And I was like, let's just plan it the day before. And then I was like, you know what? She needs a schedule. So I was like, I'm going to take you on a day trip to go spot birds. And I wanted to see the botanical garden. So I was like, tick, 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 tick. Yeah. You like to walk. Yeah. And this all makes sense. And also it took you out the city so you can't get too stressed. Also like, we've spoken about this before. Our Venn diagram is very tight to it see is, what we is. actually enjoy yeah, together. Yeah, it's like, I want to keep moving. I want yes. to tick things off. Yes. And you want to see cute things and stuff. I want to and sit. I want to sit and like look and play You also want to go. point and shout. Well, sometimes yeah, it's shout so worthy. It really was a perfect intersection of what we both so like to I do. So I made you and the other the other little lezzies a little form. You did. A little yeah. tick box form for all the bird sightings that we did. Yeah. But the fact that you went on and found this, it's like such a detailed colour. Well, I started of- making it myself. Because there's card. 143 species of bird in Melbourne. Yeah, but you made us a bingo card of some amazing ones. So I chose 14 in the end. And um, it was like, oh God, it's going to take for a while to make. And I get the right picture. Because it's got to be like a really clear picture. So you know what it is from all yeah. angles. And then I was like, oh, if I just log in as a special needs teacher in Australia, <laughs> then I can get access to all their education resources. Because I can say like I'm training to be a teacher here. So I signed up and obviously left before they took the money out of my account for a full <laughs> month. So I just used the... Hello. I'm allowed to use resources. So I got, um, they had these bird watching bingo cards. And why is this so funny to you? It's the fact that you thought of it. Like, I know your mom is a special education student. Yeah. So like, of course you thought of it. But the fact that we all loved it so much. Yeah, of course you would. It's the perfect day out for a group of people who were tired and exhausted from doing a comedy festival. (laughs) They were the perfect resources. Just the crossover between children and comics is astonishingly yeah. bleak. It's astonishingly bleak. But they were like, they had these sheets and they were like pictures of like 
the birds and the names of them. And I was like, and so I sort of, box. and like, yeah, in a tick box, which I didn't do perfectly in all of them. But then I sort of swapped a couple around because I really wanted to see an Australasian swamp pen. So How like, that was added in. Did? Big fan. Oh my God, they're gorgeous. So if you don't know what they look like, a bit Google of more hens, but with long black legs. And then they have a navy chest and a red beak. Um, I didn't but know I was that. Navy in- chest. Oh, like exquisite, like a royal blue. Mm-hmm. Really gorgeous. I didn't know I was into birds until we did this. The walk was gorgeous. The sightings were awesome. Joe's you know a natural bird watcher. Chloe Pets. Chloe Pets. Mad. Chloe Pets being good at spotting birds shouldn't be that like a. <laughs> uh, but like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. What a I will natural. Say this. Can I say this? Good at spotting birds, but the the offer to chuck a rock in a tree when it wasn't moving so we could see it was too, too hard, too fast. Yeah, too hard, too fast, too common. Uh, too often, I do agree. Like, like, oh, wait, can you not, can you not see it? Can you not, oh, it's not moving, it's not moving. I'll chuck a rock, anyone got a rock? Like, we didn't throw any rocks, obviously, but like. Um, Olga calls Ellen's style, uh, what does she call it? Spy Kids? Uh... It's like she's well, serving like spy. She's, spy she's serving spy kids basically, <laughs> and and Ellen's spy kids motif really came into its own because in that backpack it turns out she has a different color pen for everyone who wants it. She was like doing special requests on stationery. That's the thing. We went to the botanical gardens. By the way, if anyone does want to, is anyone going to Melbourne or is anyone who's local wants my sheet? I do have it saved as a PDF, and we I would be happy to send it. Put it on the Instagram as well. It. Really there we go. lovely. I'll tell you what, the rainbow guys were my favourite. Rainbow Laura Keys. I loved them. I loved them. There was a t- red tree full of these rainbow Laura Keys sat in little gay pairs. They were in little I gay pairs. I adored them. They're the most beautiful bird I've ever seen. I wanted to see a kookaburra up close. I know we saw a few. But they were so far away. I want to see its little fat head. I was seeing it from so much further away than you. Think how much taller than me you are. Oh my god, that's like ten feet. I barely got a glimpse. <laughs> <laughs> They've got little chubby, little silly I know little feathery heads. heads. They're and so they're just so squat. I'm gonna put it in my yeah, mouth. They were really cute. I liked them, and then we went to that. Um, and the pigeon. We saw that pigeon. The rock dove. Oh, remember yes, the rock dove was nice. And what else did we see? You saw a spotted turtle dove, but I didn't because oh I was looking yes, at a tree. I know you were really mad about it. It was such a funny tree, really Nathan. You'd about. lose your mind. <laughs> right, what it was? Oak tree, lovely oak tree, <laughs> nice and big, strong, but had um, three branches that were holding into the ground. And Ellen told me that those branches go in there when it's not getting enough nutrients. So some of the branches grow, grow down into in, the ground yeah. to suck it up. Whoa. Yeah. And it was nice to learn. That's very sweet. Well, she was good to go. With it was the such a good day. And then um, I also liked the pastries that we had. They were delicious. Okay. I really I want know to talk about to how good the pastries you brought me. That white chocolate filled Danish that somehow tasted of custard and vanilla and oh my god it was, that was fucking stupid. A, but salt it also oh my god that it was, was divine flawless. that was really really good the Nutella brownish the brioche donut oh my god fuck an excellent surprise what a treat I went basic I asked for almond croissant you regretted it didn't you cross- no was it good it was it was up there with toad Whoa. in South London and I don't say that easily I know you don't you love like, those guys I mean we all know that the, the toe diamond croissant is superior for the whole of the UK. Do you know what I'm desperate to get done here is my nails. I'm so excited because Fern Brady got her nails done in a place called Trophy Wife and I'm desperate to get them done on there. But also, I didn't realise... Trophy Wife? How gay is, is this? She's, Trophy I know. Wife? Get, how gay is this? She sent me a picture of her nails and it was a um, penis spaffing out some local flowers. But I'm so gay that I just thought it was a vase. So she sends <laughs> me this picture... I've seen this she picture. Sends, How did you see a van? She sends me this pic and I'm like, oh, local flowers. How nice. And then two days later, I saw on her Instagram, it was a penis. And I was like, Fern, it's a penis. And she was like, you're so dumb. I'm right, so bef- gay. No, before we bring on our guest, can you quickly call it on your bisexuality? It is a hundred percent time to call it. This whole like, I'm bisexual. I'm bisexual. Like you ha- at some point, if you can't pick a peen out of a lineup, it does beg the question, are you really? But I'm going to say yes. Because it was <laughs> such a penis. There was but, a bell end. Like, it was jizzy. Like, I just thought it was like... The bend. Le- <laughs> <laughs> like, that was a cock. It just never occurred to me that it would have been. Do you know why? Because it was technically a flaccid dick and you've never seen one of those. Am I right? Because they're always rock hard around you. <laughs> I've seen that. a lot of flaccid Let's ones. Let's bring on our guest. On that note? Okay, wicked. Hey, she's the best... 
fucking comic I have seen in years. We saw her the I other think night. I the best ever. Uh, the, we saw her the other night and I we have not been able to stop talking about it. I haven't been able to stop thinking about it. I keep quoting it. I'm I keep intimidated. Go, oh my God. I'm not, like, I don't know how this woman isn't, I mean, she's incredibly famous, but how she's not on, like, everyone's radar. She is the best comic. It's the best set I have watched ever. Yeah. She's incredible. You're, you're, I, I don't know what to say. We are so perfect. lucky to have her here. Like, honestly, we're so lucky. Please, give it up. Go wild and crazy for the wonderful Zainab Johnson! <laughs> Zainab, how the hell are you? I'm pretty good. I'm great, actually. Good. Yeah. I love that you have your bag on. It's really like, I'll let, <laughs> I'll decide about these women halfway through. No, no. <laughs> it's, it's the crossbody. That's it's the nice. beauty of the crossbody cool. and the mm -hmm. fanny pack. It's like, it can go, you know. It it's can, cool. Yeah. But now that we've seen your set, I am worried you might be packing. I'm like, what's That's with that? That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no. like, so why won't she put it down? Yeah. Well, you yeah. know. Yeah. Um, we saw your set the other night. <laughs> yes. Um, we, Incredible. We talked about it nonstop. Okay. Um, it's the best half an hour of stand-up I've seen in years. You're incredible. Oh, wow. That's You're wonderful. incredible. And I, I have to know who you've seen. No, we, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No everyone. one. Kidding. No I, one. I, I, in general, I don't like stand-up. I think it's cringe. Uh, you know I, I mean? watch loads. And the last time I had that experience was probably watching Maria Bamford or Michelle Wolf at this festival oh, in 2019. Wow. You're like another level. It's a, It was masterclass. Oh. And also it's so... Sorry, I'm going to start by being sycophantic. Okay. But it was just so, like, everything is so well thought and so precise. You must be so diligent. But then it's so light touch. It seems like you're just, like, giggling at yourself and having a light time. And you're like, no, no one has this set and, like, sort of unravels that way. Yeah. Gorgeous. Oh, my God, it was yeah. so smart. Thank without thinking you. it through. It was just, do you feel incredible at your job? No. God damn it. <laughs> If you don't, that's so annoying. Really? I wish you I had been with us when we finished watching you. I don't feel shitty, but I feel that set that you guys went to, I knew that that was a good set. It was so yeah, good. Yeah, I knew that that was a good set. It felt good in it. Like, I, I felt good. And there were some things that were firing off. Like, even when I got off stage, I was like, oh, that's the first time I said that. That just came to me in a moment. And you know, Are you like, joking? This is just no. not. That's this so is, annoying. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> that was annoying. like, it was too live. Yeah, yeah, you felt so present with it. Oh, yeah. Well, that's that's how I am. Yeah. That's yeah. definitely how I am. And But the night before that, I messed up a punchline so severely, but the audience doesn't know because they don't no. know the set. But I knew. I was like, oh, I'm. but I mean, I just kept it, you know, it's not taped. No, it's not. Yeah, but, oh it's, my just, God. it's just fun. My girlfriend who does sketch comedy and is a playwright, and I would say doesn't usually watch as much stand-up as... I have made her mm -hmm. and who I think at this point is like I get it <laughs> you all have your little problems please God was like oh it can be that good and I was like fuck you man <laughs> after watching you yeah. three nights in a row yeah. she, she like, went to see Stay Nub and Jock and Booster I didn't know I could like it I <laughs> right Ellen okay. she we just oh my God just and also she was there you were there I was there and Rob Orton were there so very like I would say you don't know us that well but like four very different creative <laughs> minds who come at it from a different very different I'd Obviously. say you and me are very similar on stage. No. Just like composed. <laughs> like. I actually saw you at the 10 for 10 at the Max Watts, right? And would, or what did you think? I similar? So, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> in all fairness, I was jet lagged and those two girls in the front row were too cute and they just made me angry. I, but like... I don't even think you have to justify it in any way. I think I thought that it was wonderful and it seemed very specific to you. <laughs> no, that's not <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. <laughs> it really all, is. All, no one can say you're not authentic. Yeah, no really one can is. say. And that. you were funny. You went on late in the night. It's like, after, and mm. we were supposed to do five minutes. And I think I was the only person that got off stage at five minutes. I felt like everybody. Else I was did doing, five as well. You did five. I I'm came saying, off and they went bang on. Yeah, the the nine people before you or whoever, because you were close to the end. Right? I was close yeah. to the end. I felt like people were doing like eight minute sets. Not oh, and and when you so have rude when twelve it's people, like ten people on a show, it can feel that's rude. That can be a lot, particularly in the first section. Like, don't run over in the first section. Also, it's an international festival. A lot of us have just arrived. I know we're yeah. exhausted, and everyone who arrives in Australia, the is jet host, the host has done his time. Then they yeah, have like an mm -hmm. intermission and he's doing some more time. And remember, mm -hmm. he was like, I'm going to just keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he said that I'm just going to for forego the intermission mm -hmm. because or whatever Whoa, they call it here. The yeah. middle break. Um, 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 Midtime party. 
No, they don't. They don't. <laughs> they put weird names for everything. Let's take a fucking midtown party <laughs> bride. <laughs> I was just, I was just telling my friend. I was like, because we we were out with my an Australian friend that I have, and I was like, I'm so sorry. I think our names are better. Like, I think what we call things are way better than what you guys call things. Okay, Go give me on. an example. What, what it was called, like a toasty, che- a cheese toasty. What's that? Okay, we call we it a call cheese it toasty. toasty. What is do you that call for it? a grilled cheese? We call it a grilled cheese. That sounds yeah. so much more appetizing. Yeah, it does, to be fair. It does. There, was, there were other things. Like, yesterday we were at the ice cream. Cheese toasty oh. feels like an overheated foot. Exactly. You know what I mean? It's like, oh. Then it was like a rock melon. What's, What's a, a rock, rock melon? melon? A rock melon is honeydew. Doesn't honeydew just sound like something you need when it's hot and it'll yeah, just... Yeah, we say so honeydew. It feels yeah. healthy. A rock melon sounds like, am I going to be able to poo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you will, but it'd be one of those ones that hurts, am I right? <laughs> it sounds aggressive. Honeydew sounds like a color. Yeah, it feels like a sweet little gal. Yeah. It really does. It feels like a nice lady. Hey, um, are you finding the audiences receive you differently here to how they do in the States? Like, do you think they get all your... Because I've had to go, huh, you don't say those words and also this isn't a problem you have, but mm-hmm. I obviously speak at the speed of light. Yes, yes. And so they do follow me, but I can see they're doing their concentration faces. Like everyone's brows a bit furrowed yeah. when I speak. Like, I think it's also an accent thing for you as well. Like, I feel like... I mean, the three of us have accents, but I understand mine's red as an accent and yours is just red no, no, as but off yours the telly. is like not in the, like, <laughs> popular culture as much, apart from like people trying to pretend to do okay. it. like a sketch. Okay. Do you not feel Everyone like the Dublin accent? Everyone knows who Murphy is, but yeah, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, but we know Killian Murphy from doing films where he's playing Oppenheimer. Yeah, I, I, guess, I <laughs> yeah. guess I wasn't in that film. Yeah, no, you're right. I do understand that mine is more specific and everyone yeah. does a sort of like, I, I say father, you guys say father. You say, what do you say? Oh, for, you say father? Yeah. That would have, I would have been like, what, what, what? Yeah, it's that kind of stuff where they're like on a lag. I'll have moved on to the next joke and they're like, oh, yeah. and it's tedious. But do you have that? I don't think that that's happening. Although a friend, an Australian friend did come to my show and she was saying her and her boyfriend, it was, there were a few things that they got like a second later. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, wait, yeah. what was the word that she said? I, I feel like, um, I don't know. I feel like I, I speak kind of slow yeah. and I feel like it's very easy to understand. You're unbelievably clear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, you're very, it feels intentional, the words you choose. Yeah. I, Irish people will use 20 where you could easily use one. One, okay. I feel like you choose quite precise wording. So yeah. that makes it easier to but follow. you come from a riddling culture. I yeah. do come from a riddling culture. But, but also, but also a riddled I, culture. <laughs> I went and saw a comedian by the name of Nazim. I don't know his last name, but he's like a, a big act in Australia, Ooh. like a, a growing act in Australia. Mm. He um, is Sri Lankan. Muslim, okay, mm-hmm. and he has an Aust- a very strong Australian accent, and it I couldn't. It was everything was delayed for me. I couldn't Holy even. It, I couldn't even laugh because I had to concentrate. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's nice for yeah. him to look up and see you. <laughs> I, was, I was all the way in the back, but I was just like I had to stay hyper focused. Wow, to, that's impressively good of you. That's, yeah. Well, I'll just hold it in my mind. If someone looks like they're not having a good time, I'll be like, they are really going to enjoy this in a half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> but like, man, an hour after the show, they're going to be having a hoot. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be good. Um, you are on stage. Yeah. I think really interesting because you obviously look like a doll. Oh. You like look so sweet, like butter wouldn't melt. Okay. But then you're also talking about owning a gun. Am yeah. I allowed to talk about that on the podcast? Sure. Okay, great. And it's, I don't know why it, you seem, because maybe it's because you come across so reasonable. Yeah. I forget that you're saying that you own a gun. I'm like, seems reasonable. And then I come away being like, wait, what? No, I'm, I don't, I don't think I'm pro that. Yeah. I mean, that's good. That's good because I hope that, I mean, I think I say that really early in a set, right? Like it'd be really scary if I was like, I got a motherfucking gun, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I yeah. think that that's like, yeah, so. But it's such a mind bending thing to come away being like, wow, she was amazing. What a nice gal. Hang on a second. <laughs> <laughs> Our weapons are bad. Like we do, do you guys have the keys in between the fingers on the walk home? I we think can. that's the, yes, Stay that's yeah. like our that's what you mean? Yeah. I don't think anyone's ever managed to fend someone off with a key. Yeah. But like that feels like yeah. our version of it. Oh, we have mace. Mm. We have, I think. I want to get mace so bad. It's not legal no in the UK, idea. I don't think. It, oh, really? It, it, it like, 
it's like a pepper spray, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to try it once. It's not legal here either. Like I was going to actually bring it with me. <gasps> um, and then I, I'm happy that I looked it up. I'm happy that oh, I Googled whoa. it. And it was like, oh, no, it's not legal. In we Australia. were really Googling different stuff ahead of the time. What did you Google? I was like, when? where can I see kangaroos? <laughs> <laughs> Are kangaroos in the CBD? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know where you can see kangaroos. <laughs> Have you been? I was, yeah. I went, <gasps> last last time I was here, we went to the, san- we're actually, we're probably going to go this week um, to the animal sanctuary. Yeah, Stop. Cute, the Heelsville one. Yes, we, yes. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. It looks yeah. real nice. It looks yeah, real nice. one where you can feed the kangaroos and the koalas. I believe so. Okay. Yeah, because it's like out in the open. Siblings. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. Nice. The wallabies. The oh my god, cute. Yeah, so cute. What's um your favorite thing about Australia so far? Mm. Meeting me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> I don't know why I said that. You set yourself up, girl. Was it? Was it? Um, was it? I don't know. Like seeing me do ten minutes. Ah, I thought you only did five. Slave, ain't up, slave. Um, I think I think my favorite thing about Melbourne so far is like the coffee culture. Oh my god, yeah. It's I think amazing. that's the, the that's the uh, to me that's the thing that speaks the most to me. Are you yeah. not finding it a bit strong? The coffee? Yeah. I mean, I'm loving it. Okay, I am, and like... I'm and I'm drinking it at night after the sun goes down. So, good lord, yeah, you're so impressive. Yeah, you, that is not... really impressive. They're making it stronger here than everywhere else in the world. Do, I, what that do you is think? A hundred percent. I've run into like four comedians who had to leave the conversation early because they were like. Stop it. On the verge. Stop it. Of like, do you call it turtle heading? Oh my God, please. Like, no. like pooping? when you're shitting yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't had that issue. No, me neither. <laughs> I haven't. I wouldn't have. No. And I mean, I, Different, I'm definitely talking about other people. I've never. God, yeah. no. Yeah. Are they drinking, are they also drinking tap water? Like yeah, I wouldn't water know. Tap? Yeah. Oh. Are you not <laughs> tap water here? Well, I think that I, I, I that's something I also Googled, like best water in Australia. And it was like right out the tap. I did yeah. not trust it. I, it's like, <gasps> oh, interesting. Good for you. You seem like a wary person. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. I, first of all, when I let the water run in, in my hotel, it sounds, it fe- it smells a bit chlorine-y. Okay. That's a no. Yeah. You, you, know you don't want to drink that. So, you don't want to drink that. Yeah. yeah. I'm just not, I'm just not going to take the chance. Good for you. With water. Okay, I've been drinking the tap water. Which is why you've been turtle headed? I have, okay, like, <laughs> I was prairie yeah, dogging. Okay, I had Do you say one. prairie dogging? I don't you know. don't say you're lovely. You you're a nice lady. It when it's you're coming. a nice dignified lady. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. What, what do we call but it? But, like, what's the American term for it? You know? Like, like not a wet you're turtle. You're looking at head. your friend yeah. like, uh, yeah. Aisha, like, do you have a. <laughs> Aisha's like, I want nothing to do with this. Yeah. No, I've been, I've been, okay, there was one time. Helen, no, you're not. Day like, one, oh where gosh. I got in the lift and I was like, you know when your body goes like we're close yeah 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 oh so God. you start like mentally like seems like needing a piss on a night out like yeah, yeah, you're like yeah. oh i'm at the bathroom then you see there's a queue but your body's already like yeah gotten to the mindset yeah Helen. so i had it and i got in the lift to my building she's, i'm staying on the she's there just let it happen yeah okay. let celebrate it happen. my <laughs> celebrate you know what celebrate women's bodies and believe her okay. How about that for once? <laughs> I got to, f- I was on floor 28 and I was like, got on the lift and I was like, here we go, here we go. And then like five people got in with all their different floors and I was just looking at them like, <gasps> <gasps> and I made it and that's what really matters. It, it, that does matter, but this was all because of coffee? Yes, a hundred percent. It's the, like, I get like, just like an Americano with a splash of like, just a yeah, splash yeah, of milk. Yeah. And it's like, it's hitting me different. So I'm oh. finding actually the opposite. Me too. Yeah, because I, I actually do have that experience when I'm in the States. Like yeah. coffee runs through me. Yes. It's like, it's actually like, just like a laxative. Like don't, you know, like Whoa. if I, if but I'm it is a laxative. Yeah. yeah. But here that's not happening. Yeah, I think it's that's actually not happening milder. Here. Yeah, I have found the same. But, I, I but I'm drinking more coffee here. Yeah, I'm finding that the taste is like, really sufficient. I'm at risk yeah. every cough. I'd say at the moment. Oh, Helen, okay, like, you went from no, I'm talking about other people to I can't cough. I feel like it's important. <laughs> wow. I, mean, I can cough. You really told on yourself feel, just then. Doesn't feel s- say slay. <laughs> <laughs> slay. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh my God. Okay, if you're an Australian listener, can you write in and prove? I, I swear it's. I don't think it is, Helen. There's I something's so. happening here. Yeah, something, but I'm not sure it's that. Hey, if you're drinking coffee at <laughs> night during Ramadan, yeah. how are you sleeping? Um, I mean, it's happening. Like, it's, it's it's happening. Okay. Yeah. You're getting some. I'm getting some. It's so yeah. impressive. When's Eid? 
Wait, what? When is Eid this year? Oh, um, uh, either I think the ninth. The ninth. Okay, the so ninth you're so yeah. close. So close. You're so close. Okay, so amazing. Close. Gosh. Yeah. yeah. All right. It is hard. I, I we were in the car the other day with Dod, and obviously Irish people do Lent, which is yeah, like yeah. S- such an absolute piss poor attempt at um, self control. <laughs> yeah. Harrison I mean, like, it's long. It's forty days. Right? Yeah, but it's like, come on, what are you giving up? I was thinking of giving up like like people give up like diet coke. And yeah, I know like, some like, like what, modern what day Lenters who are like, I'm actually just gonna not give up anything, but just be kinder to myself. And it's like they're always the people that have already been so unkind to themselves. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And he was saying that yeah, in Ireland, a lot of the time people give up chocolate bars except oh that, i was in a car with you yeah exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. and that bounty doesn't count because bounty is kind of a fruit um so people the, the, the sales of bounty bars coconut go up. bar covered, yeah. in chocolate. <laughs> covered yeah. in chocolate go up in ireland that doesn't Lent. count yeah. yeah anyway we yeah. were talking about this and then realized it's a fruit then realized that was <laughs> fasting we were like wicked all right <laughs> <laughs> and we'd already done our favorite restaurants the best thing everyone had eaten that day but i love it, it i actually hell. i live vicariously through everyone for the entire day damn you're good it's you're good wonderful i can't wait to see you on the 10th like in the queue at yeah. Lynn, i hope yeah just being like I, I won't even be here anymore oh wow yeah You're my last us. day yeah it's my last uh, show day is the seventh mm. oh, okay great yeah. you were like getting back to your very specific places that you want where do you want to eat first when it's over are you allowed um, to think about that is that unhelpful well actually i might be a little bit bummed because i think i'm supposed to go to new zealand from here oh um just for like a quick holiday that's exciting yeah and so i was really looking forward to it but then my friend last night she was like oh new zealand is kind of like in the past like she's like <gasps> no like in like the 90s she was like so i don't know if you're gonna be able to get like the food that you like disagree no, i okay. said not been oh. but i watch disney vloggers and two of them oh, just went is. on a disney cruise lines thing and then they took a P and O ship to Auckland, and they said the food was amazing. Right. Well, that's not encouraging. Look at me. Um, <laughs> How's that not encouraging? A, a well, Disney adults' food taste doesn't scream. It, you have no idea the quality of food at Disney. You have no idea. I it's have like you idea. lost me at the cruise. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Really? really Here's what but I'll also, say. Also, I have no reference point to what their taste buds are. So it, it's English. Like they're from of, Bournemouth in the UK. So nothing. good. Probably good. No, no that's that's, really. that's bland as hell. That feels judgy. It is. It's, it's, it all, it's, it's as judgy as the loose coffee. <laughs> We're like best friends, aren't we? I love how you physically turned to Catherine. Yeah. I'm just going to sit here for a Play. minute and I'll let like, <laughs> hey. you say this. There are a bunch of Kiwi comics here and they'll tell you where to eat. And a okay. lot of them have great, like really, really good food culture. And I will also say that there is the... The chocolate here is terrible. Do you like chocolate? I was, oh my God. I, it's so, so, so bad. bad here. So I was like, I'm eat, I am I love peanut M&Ms. I really should not eat them because I have an allergy to both peanuts and no, chocolate. No, And so, I, but I've been, it's like a guilty pleasure, peanut M&Ms. And yeah. I'm like, the peanut M&Ms taste different here. Everything's so the, bad here, the food, chocolate wise. To the point where I can't even get through, like I could, I could, I could go through a family pack of M&Ms. Yeah. But this, I'm yeah. like, I'm just going to eat a few. Yeah. And then I'll save them for late, like save them for the next night. Oh God. Yeah. Yikes. And I can't, I can't pinpoint. We had a chocolate chip cookie. Yeah. And it, we didn't call it nasty, but we, it's as not soon right. as, as not- soon as I've been into it, I was like, this is different. And I'll tell you why. And we couldn't figure it out. It's okay. because they're yeah. worried about the melting. So they want it to be longer life. So it, it, they don't use the same things. They keep it more coagulant so that it's, and it just tastes bad. They it's put an ingredient in the chocolate milk. so it won't melt in the shops. it was it's something right. I could not figure it out, but I knew it was something. So when you go to New Zealand, get Whitaker's chocolate. Okay. It is. They do a peanut butter bar. Unbelievably good. Really? Oh uh, my God. Okay, Zainab. I can't wait. It is so outrageously good. So there's okay. that to look forward to. But okay. yes, the food is good and you're going to be fine. Also the seafood there. And also they like, they are a real a dairy culture like they will have lots of do you eat beef do you eat like no no no, no. okay so that's not gonna work that's probably why she was i'm always do you looking, eat lamb no no but she i'm always looking oh. for like <laughs> i'm always looking for like leafy greens and vegetables and you're gonna be like fine that. in new zealand, in new zealand. You're, you're gonna zealand. be fine okay yeah okay. it's gonna be good yeah, okay. i don't think you would have the same taste as people from bournemouth and Right. No, yeah, no, intentionally I mean, eating knew. vegetables. The, you, you <laughs> said it's like you put so many words together that, that were trigger words. Right? <laughs> it was like Disney cruise. Ingl- it, it, it was a lot. What's yeah. wrong with Disney and cruising? And when we're talking about food, yeah, 
it's a buffet. It's a world buffet. <laughs> for yeah, another, another, another trigger word. <laughs> another, <laughs> how is buffet a trigger word? I'm traumatized by the last five minutes of <laughs> what you contributed. It's so funny because usually people are traumatized. Oh my God. My favorite comedian <laughs> just said they Finds were you traumatizing. Me. Yeah, it's tough. I it's need tough. to work on myself. I keep saying I'm going to do it one year. But Yo, each year I'm like, I'm they, fine. They how you are. <laughs> Did you think? But don't give food recommendations to a woman who's fasting. <laughs> because they're not, if she's like, I could do without, right. that's bad. <laughs> so, like, are we, right, are we going to just, like, American food isn't flawless either. I went to... Um, what's it called? Cancun. Not America. I know that. But <laughs> close. <laughs> but but I, I want them to know that I know that it's not America. Right. It's Mexico. Okay. But I went to an all-inclusive there. Me and my friend are like, I wonder what the like Mexican version of all-inclusive is. Because we were like, I bet it's just Americans. And I was enchanted. Okay. The buffet there, everyone was losing their minds. I usually lose my mind at a buffet, but everything tasted like fridge. But they did not mind. <laughs> They did not mind because, first of all, everybody knows that all inclusive, you're getting the worst American food. Anybody that right. has any good taste does always leaves the all inclusive and goes and finds themselves where the locals eat yeah. and and gets that. So that's a, it's, that. they're trying to appeal. <laughs> this is what happens when you go to an all inclusive, especially where you don't have to cross water like Cancun, right? That's it. We the you, last two days of our trip, we went there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So from the states, you don't have to cross water, right? So there's a lot of people in the middle of the country. That's where they're going for their vacation, and they're trying to get the most bang for their buck. If they're like not Kentucky, in, if they're not on in Cancun, they're on the Disney cruise. <laughs> So it's do you get so when you said Disney Cruise, I got the fridge. Tell me about white yeah. people without saying white people. This is fun. <laughs> this is fun. I'm very this white. Is, Loving it and they're getting it's like you're getting all you can eat. Yeah. Let me tell you what will never be good. Okay. And all you can eat. Yeah. Okay. You say that. Have you heard about what's it in America? Golden Corral. Yes, Golden Corral. I know exactly. Have you about heard Golden about Corral. it? Yeah. What is I've that? watched a YouTube video. Yeah, what is that? Charmed. Have. Charm, listen. Enchanted. Yeah, go. You pay. Eat your and, heart out. Oh my God. They've got like, <laughs> you can do anything yeah. there. There ain't really? no rules in the Golden Corral. Yeah. You can put gummy worms in a burger and no. they'll, they'll literally clap you. Yeah. I don't want that. I think it's the most beautiful place of all time. Yeah. It's, There's one in this place I really one, want to go to called one Daytona thing, Beach. It they sounds say, like rock bottom. They say they have all you can eat, but the one thing that people get there early for that they do run out of, the snow crab legs. What is a snow the crab? The snow crab like? legs, because it don't matter what, you don't know what a snow crab is? No. It must a be a crab from the snow or something. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's a big, it's a really big crab. And oh. so the snow crab legs are the really big ones. Yeah. Whoa. Really, yeah. It's a type of crab and it's a big, and the the, the legs are really Gosh, are big. I don't think and I so want to And so they're very meaty. It feels they're like. They're popular. It's very popular, but it's like you can't, snow crab, especially now with inflation, it, it, it for like a pound chain do the metrics i don't know that yeah uh we know what a pound is yeah, yeah it's like probably a hundred bucks where like <gasps> some years ago it might have been like twenty dollars for Whoa. a pound of snow crab legs Gosh. i'm gonna go there that sounds like a lot of stress yeah. i do don't not like disney world then just just out of curiosity oh i went with um i did take my nieces my, yeah it's my always a child nieces. people usually bring children yeah they came to visit me in california and we went to, and we had a really good time Aww. yeah it's but, like a magical place in our... but we did not eat there why Correct. we we uh had food right before we got there we went and then we brought our food and then when we left we got food outside because my nieces also have really good taste <laughs> Oh, that's savage. <laughs> but the food you ate, was it shaped like Mickey Mouse? It was not. Well, you missed out. But <laughs> my, <laughs> my niece did get a little cap with the ears on it. Yeah. Yes! yes. I've, have, got, I've got some of those. Yeah. Do you have yeah. a lot of nieces and nephews? I do, like probably 20 or more at this huh? point. Huh? Because, you know, I have 12 siblings, so. Say no. Wait, did you not know that? No. Oh, it's in the first hour. Um, oh, my stop. God. That the is one the that's most... on Amazon? Yeah. That's incredible. I need to get a VPN. You yeah. gotta I get a VPN. Yeah. That's yeah. incredible. It's available in the UK. Is it? Yeah. Oh, we suck. Yeah. We suck. <laughs> we'll watch that later. We'll watch that later. You have 12 siblings? Yeah. Who's your favorite? Um, I don't have one favorite, but there are but you a few have two. that I, there are a few that I really, really like. Like, even if they weren't my siblings, I really like their personalities. Wow, that's yeah. harsh to the others, but I respect it. It is what it is. It We're is what people. it is. And I'm sure they're, I'm not, I'm not the favorite of some people. You couldn't be 13 and all get on like, you yeah, would, no. Yeah, yeah. And what's oh, the no. age difference? Um, uh, like 22 years. 
holy from heck. between the youngest and the oldest. Yeah. Fair play to your mother. And, and where do you God. fall? I'm the fifth from the top. Sick. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Sick. Why, why sick? Just because I'm middle as well. And I just like things oh, yeah? up on us. How many yeah. in total? Three. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're not really so, like, the same But like you and me, just like same thing. Do you yeah, know what I mean? We're so well, much alike. Do you not? Th- I think so. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> but Helen's Exactly the same on stage. I, I had a girl after my show and she was like, well, everything you're saying is my life. It's, it's, because <laughs> we're the same. So, what, okay. So with a man, okay. So what you're saying, I, I, it, it I didn't really know. I tried my best to be like, oh, there are some similarities. <laughs> and I'm happy that you, I'm happy that I have given you representation. Yes. But, but also, please stop standing so close to me. But also, just we're different people. <laughs> yeah, and that's okay. And you've seen me in a half hour capsule. Girl. Yeah. Did not read the message I sent you. <laughs> I, I didn't, I didn't, I did not. No, I didn't say that. Okay. You say know that, you, get... Brooklyn, Queens, me, Fleet, Northeast Hampshire. Like, yeah, it's mm. the same. It's the same. Um, we get listener problems in. <laughs> okay. Um, what kind of advice giver would you say you are? Oh, hmm. Um, I think I give good advice. And what would you say your, what kind of advice giver would you say your friends say you are? I'd say that I'm the person, don't come to me if you just want to hear what you need to hear. Mm-hmm. I'm I was the person literally about to say that. That if you want, if you want the truth, <laughs> if you want the they truth. friends in the corner. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. <laughs> and you want something like logical and reasonable, but also I will still lift you. I'm not going to be like, okay, here's the truth you know, F you and what you stand for. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. it's not, it's still going to be like, because you deserve better. Yeah. yeah. But it's like, if you don't want it, then I, how can I give it to you? You know, it's like, okay. Painfully honest. Oof. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like, do you love you? Oh, yes. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but with love, wow. you know, like, Hmm. And I'll ask a lot of questions to try to get you to arrive to, the conclude, you know, like, hmm, do you? So, do you think? What that did you he, study? Math and education. Okay, yeah. You know, yeah. like, do you think that like this is specific to you, or do you think like most people <laughs> have like you know intruded upon your time? So maybe it's something that you need. I you feel know? attacked. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Good to know where we stand. All right. I, but I think this like, is going to be helpful because you come to me if you want to hear exactly what you want. You want to hear. hear. Oh my God. Do you f- I'm sorry. I we'll don't mean to be, to- but I'm such a people pleaser. It's- no, I'm really good at advice, but Catherine's is like, yeah. I, d- I just. Do you I, think it's helpful? No, not at all. And it um, feels good sometimes, though. No, but I'm. Hmm, I think I've been burned a few times. Okay. I've uh, really gone in, you know, on like a breakup, or yeah. like I've really been like, okay, all yeah. right, good, yeah. we're doing this. good, you deserve better. Okay, and then I've been like, oh, you're back together. Yeah. Oh, you know what you? Okay, so you have to let go of all of that. You have to let go of the judgment, mm-hmm. right? But when someone comes to you and there's and they still have like this repeated like kind of like. Um, not loving towards themselves, but self love behavior. Yeah. I'm just going to call it that, right? Yeah. Then what you do is you just listen. You listen openly, but you don't give any advice because they're actually not coming to you to hear what you have to say. They're okay. coming to you to unload. To unload. Wow, so when you use those easier. phrases like "that sucks" or like "oh how annoying," you don't even have to do that. You could be really? like, "Oh wow, is that what that that's what happened?" Oh, okay, and then what? Just just be like an active listener, and then so how do you feel? They're not coming to you for anything. They just Whoa. need to get it out. How do you feel? Yeah. So how do you feel about? Okay. So what do you think you're gonna do? And I'm I'm on the edge of my seat. Oh my god. Yeah. I, the problem is now I'll end up doing your accent. Yeah, but like, <laughs> I just think it's like I think, think it's like in your do? accent it sounds amazing. Like what are you gonna do? Where's but I think like. <laughs> you go to do and it sounds a bit like panicky like and i love and that the what? american accent can carry that but i feel for us like if then you have catherine say oh wow with no judgment oh wow <laughs> oh, 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 wow. and yes, then what then what what next this might be an american thing okay I think. oh i love it i love it and and then no i'll work on it um, <laughs> okay let's have the problem i'm excited i've just seen what your cap says it's amazing Inshallah. Inshallah. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> okay. This is from X. <clears throat> okay. Like Twitter? From Yes. Are you on X? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, sure. I left it. Oh. Wow. Just want everyone to know. Is I'll it? come back when I need to sell our next okay. tour. But <laughs> <laughs> Hiya. Hiya. 
Hiya. <laughs> you answered my question a little while ago about sweating in the gym. No, oh this no, is we're the not wrong doing one. this. We're doing one. it from W. <laughs> and that's okay. That's what an editor's for. That's all right. <laughs> well, we usually have Andrew here who reads it. So this is you me. can do this. You okay, can do I can this. read. It. This is your chance to prove it. From W. Yes, hi There we w. go, hi W. Hi Hogs, over 15 years ago, I made a friend at college. I was in my early 20s and I was quiet and shy. She was loud and dynamic, so she often decided what we were doing and generally took the lead and bossed her friends around. She sounds amazing. <laughs> she moved over, please be respectful. <laughs> she moved overseas after a couple of years and we had very little contact. About once a year, she would call me and tell me all about her life. She never caught me up on the past year. She always jumped straight into to the detail of her life and seemed to assume I knew everyone she was now friends with and everything about her work. I never thought about her outside of these calls and no longer felt close to her, but she sent me gifts, often called me her best friend, and she missed me very much. Mm. Following this. During the pandemic, she moved back. Mm -hmm. I have developed into a more self-confident person now, but she treats me as if I am the same meek 23-year-old. Mm -hmm. She still tends to boss me around, and having returned after many years, she seemed to assume I would be available to her at all times like I used to be. I have a partner that I would prefer to spend time with and lots of friends and interests which keep me busy. More to the point, I don't feel very connected to her, and I don't know whether I even like her that much. Eesh. I don't want her to, but I don't, I don't want her to, but I don't know how to respond or how to handle this. We'll figure that out. Okay. I have so far used avoidance and delay tactics, but she is very good at making direct requests and she is incredibly persistent. Mm -hmm. I don't respond to her messages for days and give her non-committal answers, but she won't take a hint. I don't dislike her terribly, but she's not someone I would choose to spend time and energy on. Or she doesn't seem to want the kind of genuine conversation and connection that I enjoy with my friends. A few messages are one thing, but I really don't want her coming to stay with me. How do I break up with a friend who hasn't done anything terribly wrong? Best W. You got so you, you your mood changed through the reading it really of that. Did it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you were like, this feels like me. Oh, wait. Oh no. <laughs> oh, is somebody breaking up with me? <laughs> you had an entire journey. Because well, I also moved away. Yeah. I moved was... abroad and then came back to like my home area. Mm-hmm. My God! I, I mean, that's clearly black. not you're not W. <laughs> it's not you about know, you. But but no. but you can tell you identify closely, and then you realize like this might not be what I want to identify. Do with. you not think I'm also a really good sight reader? Like, hello. <laughs> 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 that was yeah, I don't know that it was a complex text, but yes, you read W's words very well. Um, what do you think she should do about breaking up with her friend Zaina? Who hasn't done anything terribly wrong. I think like W wants to be super clear with that. This is not a yeah. bad person. This is someone that they Yeah, go on. I I um mm. I think that W is actually not super clear on what she wants mm -hmm. um, because she's like, I don't dislike her terribly. You actually don't know her and she does not know you Yeah, I because a true. lot of time has passed mm -hmm. and she seems like the same person to you and you may seem like the same person to her. Mm -hmm. And I think that you can actually stop her. You can be as direct as she is being and have a clear conversation with her and then maybe the new yous can get to know one another and then decide oh i gave this a chance and i actually am sure i don't like you and i'm not interested yeah. and then you can just say yeah. hey you know i know that we had this connection when I, i've had that happen to me time where you outgrow where it's not even like a drastic personality change but you just outgrow friends you know from the past but and i feel like you don't have to break up with those friends because you do like I've had it happen like people I was super super close with because we were like working together or we were just like in the same phase of life and then you sort of go so, like there's no actual breaking up a friendship it's just a slow if it happens for both of you but that's not mm -hmm. happening for both I of them agree. she's going this way and she's saying wait 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 coming right coming. yeah I'll decide where we're going I'll get the yeah. door I feel like 
Yeah. And she has done a lot of the avoidance and the delay, the things that she said she can't it's take a hint. Like, yeah, she's done not. all the stuff, like not responding so, like, immediately. She's probably saying the same thing. She's like, I keep reaching out. She's not taking a hint. I'm interested. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Saying the have same you thing. ever broken up with a friend? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And I Helen haven't. Thinks, Helen thinks it's the worst thing ever, but I have. And I think. I, I couldn't I, do it. I, I do think a generous oh. read would be, be to say there is scope here to go, hey, actually, you are presuming a level of intimacy I don't feel. Yeah. Not because I don't like you, but just because we don't know each other that well. Yeah. And I really feel like you're not asking me any questions about me. I'd love to get to know you slowly, slowly, gently, gently yeah. as a new friend. Yeah. But if you can't do that, I understand. But I also... And I think that's the nicer, kinder thing to do and you'll feel better about yeah, yourself. And then exactly. you can say, actually, this isn't working out. But I know that I, in my heart of hearts, would just be like, yikes, I don't like how you're treating me. Uh, but e- even if that is the case, she still can say that very clearly. Yeah. Like, hey, I just wanted to talk to you real quick and let you mm-hmm. know, like, I know you've been inviting me and like, welcome back and I wish you all the best. But yeah. I'm not really interested in it. Actually doesn't feel good. Like the way you, you know, it's not really working for me. I know that it that I allowed that in the past, but I'm a very different person. So I just wanted to wish you well. And, yeah. you know, like, yeah. like e- any either way, what you're doing is also not OK. Yeah, I do Of agree. being avoidant and being... It's like, she, why does she need to take a hint when we can just communicate clearly? Yeah, yeah. And, and that is very hard for people to do because you have to... I own. am a natural ghoster, I feel like. Right I'm now. a boy. Which is so <laughs> like, interesting because your personality is so out. You know, we would think that you... But I'm loud, anxious. I'm not like... Confrontational. Yeah. But I don't like confrontation, but I have found that it is... I think that's what I've realized over time is that there isn't actually a kindness and avoidance that we think there isn't. There isn't. There isn't. It's and it's a, not for them. It's for you. Yeah. It's, and 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 what's what cra- what's crazy is you think it's for you, but you're actually showing yourself no self love. Like imagine being annoyed over and over and over. Like uh, she's trying to be. She's trying to hang out with me again mm. when you could have just honored yourself. Do you remember when I was like trying to break up with the yeah. friend that we talked about before? Yeah. You, and um, I've done a four year slow. Step no, away. no, no. <laughs> and finally, I'm off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was a good four years, though. I do think yeah. it's. I do think it's hard, though, because I do think. I will say this. I do think women, in particular, are trained to appease mm-hmm. the feelings of other people and to take responsibility for the feelings of other people. But I will say this. Somebody said this to me years ago after a breakup. I was like feeling so guilty about where I sort of left that person in life, mm-hmm. and someone said to me. She's like, it is the height of arrogance to assume that somebody can't get over you. Mm -hmm. And quite similarly, I think you have to trust that this person, absolutely, it sounds like she'll be hurt. But it is silly of us to assume that she won't have other friendships and possibly even be freed and given energy back to spend on people who do want that level of friendship. She might be like, oh, okay. Yeah. Or she might be like, oof, that hurts. And then in a, in a year be like, actually, I'm really glad I stopped chasing that because then I went and found my people. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, I do think it, that honesty is the only policy. Catherine, that's regard. such a nice way of thinking about it. Like you're giving them like the, hey, like Put go, this go find else. your people. Yeah. Like, thank you so much for the energy you're putting on me. But like, it's, it's definitely like better place somewhere else. Yeah, and then totally. you can see it as a gift. Yeah, totally. but I'm also like, I, I do believe in like, giving a person the opportunity to meet you where you are. Yeah, I think that's the good first step. You know, and if if they if they can't meet you there, then it's a very reasonable um choice to be like, okay, and it's a no for me. Mm-hmm. But like she's assuming a lot, yes. you know? Like she's a, she, it's like you've never she, she can't correct behavior you never made her aware of. So she's been Oof. leading and she's been doing all of these things and it's been, it was okay in the past. Mm-hmm. And then she calls you, you know, once a year and she sends you a birthday and you've never corrected the behavior. Yeah. So for her, mm-hmm. she may not know it's wrong. And so also, give her the opportunity. And then if she doesn't do it, then it's like, all right. And also it genuinely seems like when you were younger, maybe that did serve you, right? Yeah. Like if you were meek, sometimes it's nice having like a person who takes the lead. I love going places with Helen because sometimes I want to sit, step back and sat, like sit back. Yeah. And she is an icebreaker. Yeah. I took and them bird watching. But that is like, oh, but I can <laughs> go to- Bird. Oh, bird. But yeah. I can go places with Helen if I'm feeling quiet because I'm fine. Like, and that yeah. is, but that is like, if I then want to go somewhere and go actually, hey, like 
I need space too to like to show off or whatever yeah. it might be. We have that we have that kind of relationship. I always yeah. want to be by myself anyway, so it's perfect. Yeah, yeah she's ultimately pretending. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just pretending when I'm out and about. I'm having this a panic attack the this entire time. <laughs> so good though, because um occasionally well, a lot of the time we'll have British comics on and um we'll ask them for their advice and they'll be like, Oh gosh. But it's so good. You can't break up, you can't break up. America no, but what I mean to say is Americans have people. all been to therapy, so they're like, here's what you do. And I love it. It's so free. Boundary. Yeah. Thing. It's so nice. Gaslighting. And, and how did you learn to honor yourself? <laughs> <Boundary> <laughs> and you yeah, yeah, you got American words. All the lingo. How did you learn to honor yourself? Um, I don't know, honestly. I don't know, but I know that I like to feel good and I can, I'm very aware of when I don't feel good. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, I, I mean, maybe, maybe it is like the logic in me. Maybe it is the small part of me that has always had like a knack for like math. It's just like, this is not adding up. Interesting. You know, like I can identify the problem so that I can get to the solution. Whoa. You know, but it seems to me like I'm also I'm also like I'm a also level of reason we don't feeling have feeling like a disgusting poo and people treating you badly because then it fulfills your destiny that we're in all cretins. Well, here's the thing, too, that's different to, from my life than most people's lives. I am um, naturally socialized being the middle kid of so many kids mm -hmm. where a lot of people aren't. Thank so you. I have all my life, even so even when a kid goes to school, when they come home, that may be their resting place. But for me, it's like, I'm still dealing with multiple personalities mm -hmm. and appease, you know, appeasing, pleasuring and not like I'm dealing with at all the time. Well, and so yeah. it's just, it's just a, it's a certain, it's socialization on a level that most people don't have. Yeah. No. And so it's like, all right, well, if I'm dealing with this literally 24 hours a day, I, I'll have to save myself. Yes. I have siblings who don't save themselves yes. and they're very different than they're I tired. am. But it's like, I can choose to let this, you know, consume me or I can decide to save myself. Wow. So I, that, I guess that's just where it's yeah. from. It's like fight or flight, really. Fair play. That is so interesting. I think um, I'd never thought of myself as like... Uh, as somebody who um, isn't saving themselves, but I do think, yeah, I think I will put other people's needs ahead of No, nah, you break up with well. friends, you're amazing at it. <laughs> I, that I do. I get to, I will do it to a point and then I get to a breaking point and go, okay, actually. And, and sometimes that point isn't even reasonable. I'll just be like, I'm done. What, like, yeah. what, this is the last thing and then I'm out. I was like that too. I would take a lot mm -hmm. and then it would be a straw. But when the, when the back broke, yeah. it's like now I am unhinged and I am saying things <laughs> that are, it's kind of like, oh, wow, well, I could have just been like reasonable and said it, you know, but now I don't care about your feelings. It's going to come out in the worst <laughs> possible way and I saw how that was making people because that would happen even when I wasn't trying to end a friendship it's just like I'm tired of this yes. pattern or this behavior yeah, and so yeah. it's like I go from like mm -hmm, to like crushing you yeah. you know and it's like oh that's not that's now it seems like an overreaction yeah you know so yeah. I think it's just you found balance yeah I, I'm I, I am like I I'm into awareness in a way that might be unhealthy almost Awareness of what specifically? Just awareness how of how you're, you're like someone else is feeling oh. and how you're coming across. Not really how someone else is feeling, but what, how, what I'm doing. And like how, checking in with yourself. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And how I'm feeling, how it seems like the other people are, you know, like I'm mm -hmm. constantly reading the room. I think that comes from being a comedian mm. as well. That like, I think it might be hyper... the way around with you, you know, I think you might just be very good and aware and therefore you are a good comic. Maybe, mm. maybe, I don't know. I it think being able first, to see if someone's feeling left out to make sure everyone feels like welcome in the space, everyone's comfortable in the space. I think it is a comic thing because you go on stage and sometimes you're like, oh, these people are really up for it because they're so up for it. These people feel a bit left out or like this is something's happening here or like someone doesn't feel that comfortable. I bet they were told to sit in the front row and like yeah you do like, so it's like not about fixing just because i can identify just because i have an awareness for something doesn't mean it's my job to handle it so sometimes i'm very aware like oh this person is anxious but that is on her to that's not for that's not for me to <laughs> do it that's that's it's it's, point so if you're watching <laughs> you know it's your anxiety unfortunately i was like so scratching I'm, my arm no, at the time as well. i'm not gonna I be was like this <laughs> bent over, so like, helen you need your this or you need not my yeah problem. that's that is for you, you but i've identified it so now i know that that's a that's you know that's that's a that's a variable in this equation wow. 
you know but it's like i don't i I'm, oh. that's not my oh, okay. yeah. i feel like a day in your for, brain um, would be like going to the pool for a day just like i feel like i'd be really rested it sounds very peaceful it's no there's a lot happening there's in duck there. feet underneath yeah, there okay yeah, interesting yeah, 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 okay yeah, yeah, interesting yeah, yeah. Can't leave. that's the first equation yeah. reference we've ever had on trusty hogs it's because we never invite um anyone that can do math anyone logical <laughs> on yeah <laughs> Two plus four. <laughs> Make right. it hard. I was going to say two plus two, and then I was hoping the answer before. You, you <laughs> gave yourself. Oh god. Um, we've got to wrap it up. We've okay. got to. Zayda, you've been, been amazing. amazing. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You guys, um, you, you ladies are such a treat. You're so nice. Hey, Stop. here's my question. Um, what should people watch? They can see you on Amazon. They should watch my special. Both things that they should watch are on Amazon. Yeah. Uh, my first one hour special is called Hijabs Off. It is yes. on Prime. Amazing. It's only on Prime. It's not like you can buy it from Amazon. You Fine. have to be a subscriber of Prime. Okay. Um, also, a half hour comedy that I'm on, where in the third season is called Upload. Awesome. Um, it's Amazing. from the creator of the American Office. Um, I love the American Office. Yeah. Could you tell? From that, just from the just vibe, now, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. <laughs> so watch that. Yes, um, I told you that I'll be coming to um, London. I'm so excited in the fall. I'm so excited. So wait, so how? Wait, you are you actually coming to London in the fall? Yeah, yeah. <gasps> I'll, I'll be there for like a week. I think, Where are you playing? Do you know? I don't want to get it mixed up. That's fine. Um, it's fine. Our listeners all love comedy. Loads of them go to watch comedy in okay. London. We'll be going to see Zayn okay. in London. 100%. We will remind you of her show when okay. it's on sale Good. in London. Thank you. And more importantly, if you follow her on Instagram, then you will see when she's coming to London. Exactly. I would say this is one of those situations where, you know how on our show we'll say buy tickets. Um, with Zaynab, I'd say buy the tickets immediately. The second yeah. you see it, yeah, or it yeah, will yeah. sell out. Yeah. Um, which is kind of a big deal. And, um, <laughs> and also she's Do you want to take you out for food so in good. London? Hello. No. <laughs> in London, I'll I'm send either you gonna, some recommendations. I'm either gonna go find like I know that I can go to any hole in the wall Indian place. Yes, and that's gonna yes, be you fine. Can. Yeah. I'll probably travel to like Brixton for some good Caribbean I food. So yes. Close to okay. That. Yes. But yeah, that's usually those are like. Oh, my you've been before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I've was spoken like a real. I did an intensive at Rada. Oh yeah. my god! You're coming gosh. back on it in autumn. I'm going to talk about that then. <laughs> okay, you, you have to come and back on the podcast now. If you drop Rada at we the end, oh, I did. It was just like a summer intensive. How so? How funny is it that I was like, "Are you finding anyone struggling to understand your accent?" You're like, "Well, mm, my diction is perfect. It's because not I did though. An intensive at Rada. <laughs> it, my diction is not perfect at all, but I also don't care. I think there's the freedom in wow. like they'll catch up." I wow. am obsessed. As with if this. you dropped rot. Okay, we'll see you in the fall. Okay. Zayla Johnson, everybody! <laughs> woo, 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 woo!